What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. As the title and thumbnail say, we are making some buffalo chicken dip. One of my favorite recipes from my new cookbook, link down below in the description. But I'm gonna go over all the ingredients first. I'll actually read those for you guys. And this is a crock pot recipe, so it does take a little bit longer, but it's super easy because basically set it, forget it, come back, do something, set it a little bit longer. So very, very simple. But I'll go ahead and read off all the ingredients for you guys. I'll probably pop up on the screen somewhere over there too. So we're gonna need uh, one and a half to two pounds of chicken breast. This one right here is 1.62 pounds, but the recipe on the actual cookbook is for one and a half pounds, so close enough. We're also gonna need eight ounces of low fat cream cheese. So we got this Philadelphia, one third less fat cream cheese right there. We need one cup of buffalo sauce. This is the Kroger branded buffalo sauce, but basically whatever buffalo sauce of your choice. I know a lot of people love Frank's, um, buffalo sauce, or once again, maybe buffalo wild wings, whatever your go-to buffalo sauce is. We're gonna need um, one cup of that. We're gonna need eight ounces of a fat-free or reduced fat cheddar cheese. This is Kroger brand as well. Reduced fat cheddar cheese right there. We're gonna need one cup of blended cottage cheese. We're going with the cottage cheese. This is low fat. Uh, I guess you should just put it over here technically because we got the list coming up on this side. Then we're gonna need a ranch seasoning packet right there, boom. And then also a bunch of seasoning. So back here we've got uh, salt, pepper, we got onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. And then the carrots and celery aren't technically part of the actual recipe, but I highly recommend. It's a very easy way to get a little more vegetables in your diet. If you use the, uh, well, I guess you should say, use the vegetables to dip and eat the buffalo chicken dip with. So we picked up some of that because I love carrots. My dad likes celery. So it's a great way to eat the buffalo chicken dip and get a little more vegetables into your diet. But first thing we're gonna do, keep it super simple. All we need to do to start is actually use the chicken. So most of this stuff we won't use until later um, in combination with the cheeses. So all we need to do is take our chicken breast. We're gonna open that guy up. Let's see if I can actually do it clean without getting my hands dirty. Put, um, once again, it looks like three breasts in there. We're gonna go ahead and spread those out just a touch. Next, we need to go ahead and just add our seasoning. So everything except for the ranch seasoning packet, that's actually gonna go in our uh, blended cottage cheese and make like a ranch for us later on. We're gonna use our onion powder. Decent amount of that. Our garlic powder. Well, I said this backwards, but garlic powder, onion powder. They're gonna need, I'm trying to be efficient so I don't waste too much of your guys' time because you know, I just wanna give you guys the recipe so you can make it because this is literally one of my favorite recipes of all time. I make it probably once a month, if not more. Especially during football season, oh, it's perfect. A couple cracks of salt, a couple cracks of pepper. And then what I have found to be best is to add half a cup of water. You could use chicken stock if you wanted to, but I found it easiest to use half a cup of water, go ahead and add it into the crock pot where it cook this on low for about four to five hours. Or if you're in a rush, you probably do it high, probably high for about three hours, probably at least three hours to make sure the chicken gets fully cooked. But low for four to five is pretty much perfect. We're gonna take half a cup of water, fill that up. And what this is gonna do is just help the chicken stay moist as it cooks. So go ahead and dump that in. It shouldn't cover the chicken or anything like that. It just give you a little bit of a buffer at the bottom to have some water to basically hopefully let that chicken be a little bit more moist when we go to shred it later on. But without further ado, all we have to do now is basically cover that guy up, wait four to five hours, and I'll see you guys then when we complete the recipe. It's been about five hours. We can go ahead and continue to make the crock pot uh, buffalo chicken dip. So first thing we need to do is go ahead and take out our chicken and shred it. I'll probably do that off camera just because it is um, kind of a tedious process, but basically my preferred method is to take two forks and just shred it all. We're gonna go ahead and take these out. We got three breasts. There's one, there's two, and there's three. So we're gonna shred those up and then add them back. But we are gonna go ahead and pour out the water. Otherwise you're gonna get kind of like, um, pretty like runny and weird bubble chicken dip. So take that little water that we just used, go ahead and drain that. The pot will be hot. So go ahead and use some sort of like protection um, like that. And also what we need to do is take our cottage cheese and actually blend it up. So basically what I do, I just take the entire thing of cottage cheese, take the lid off there, just like that. And we just dump this entire thing into, this is a, a Ninja, or what is this? Nutra Ninja blender. So we're just gonna take the entire thing of cottage cheese. Hopefully, there we go. Get it all into the blender, and we're just gonna blend this until it's smooth, and literally just pour it right back in the container. There we go, there's a little bit left, but I'm gonna go ahead, oops, 
I'm gonna go ahead and blend the cottage cheese and shred the chicken and I'll um, touch base with you guys because it's, once again, it's just a loud and tedious process. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you guys what we need to do with terms of the buffalo sauce and the cheeses. Now we got our chicken shredded as well as our cottage cheese blended. So we can go ahead and add the, basically the rest of the ingredients and let it kind of finish cooking. So we got our block of cream cheese right here. Once again, that one third less fat. We're gonna go ahead and actually cut this up a little bit so it's easier or melts easier and blends easier. So just take a knife and go ahead and, actually I don't know if that's gonna work all that well. All right, that's our block of cream cheese. We got one cup here to measure out our buffalo sauce as well as our cottage cheese. So we're gonna do one cup. I actually might need my other. Can you grab the other one from the pantry, please? And this is optional in terms of how much buffalo sauce you actually wanna add. You can add, I would say anywhere probably from like half a cup to maybe even two cups if you want it like really spicy and really buffalo forward. Thank you very much. But I found for my preferences, one cup is just about perfect. Ooh. Okay, well, a little bit over a cup. We're good there. Next, we can go ahead and go with our blended cottage cheese. So you could go ahead and mix in your ranch packet now, but since I'm gonna use some of the cottage cheese for another recipe later this week, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a cup in and then mix all together once it's all in the crock pot. So pour out about a cup. <laughs> that was a fail. All right, no worries, we'll clean up. Close enough. And then we also need, I need to wash my hand now. Making a mess. We also need one cup or about eight ounces, which would be half this bag of cheddar cheese. I'm just gonna eyeball it, because once again, I'm actually gonna use the other half for another recipe tomorrow. I'd probably say that's about, that's probably about half a bag, maybe a little bit more. Like that, and then we'll go ahead and go with our ranch seasoning packet. here. Boom, and now we just gotta mix and then let it cook for, I would say anywhere from like half an hour, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on high. I would say anywhere from half an hour to an hour, just make sure everything gets well combined, make sure the cream cheese melts, make sure the cheddar cheese melts as well and becomes nice and thick. But yeah, I would say pretty much like a half hour from now um, would be good, but we we'll go ahead and grab, let's see, what should I use to mix it? Use a spatula. So just basically, basically just go ahead, give it a good mix, make sure everything's well combined. So specifically the ranch seasoning gets well distributed. But yeah, just go ahead and mix it. You can also mix it every like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes until it's ready. And then, yeah, I need to clean up the mess I just made, but. That looks good. I'm excited. All right, so we'll see you guys when we finally kind of have the concoction mix, melts all together, and we'll go over the macros and serving sizes. All right, so just about 30 minutes later, we have our final product, the buffalo chicken dip. It's still a little warm, but you guys can see in there. There's a good look. Very creamy, nice and thick. And like I said, probably one of my favorite recipes that I've made. But yeah, this comes out to be, so the entire crock pot worth of the chicken, all the cheeses, cotton cheese, cream cheese, all that good stuff, comes out to be 38 grams of carbs, 142 grams of fat, and then 254 grams of protein, just over 2,500 calories. Yeah, just over 2,500 calories. And then in the recipe book, once again, I think this is more like, I would say like a dip for, once again, group of people. So I basically broke it down into 12 servings. So at 12 servings, it is 12 grams of fat, three grams of carbs and 21 grams of protein per serving, which comes out to be 204 calories. So the big thing there is once again, if you wanna have it in six servings, basically double it, comes about 400 calories and 41 grams of protein. But if you wanna have it at 12 servings, like I do in the recipe book, it'd be right around 200. So this is pretty much done. You can kind of eat it as is. I'm probably gonna maneuver, um, well, maneuver, move some of it into just like a, basically a glass, dish and have it stored for later as well. But I think Katie and I are gonna have some now and then we're gonna eat it with once again, carrot, celery, something like that. But if you have any questions about the recipe, if you wanna change anything up, I will say you can just add more chicken. I do think that's a great way to increase the protein of it. Or if you once again want it maybe like a little bit thicker, maybe a little more cream cheese, you can kind of play around with it. Or as I mentioned, a little bit more, more or less buffalo sauce for your preferences. But yeah, that's gonna be a buffalo chicken dip recipe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those. Without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Pick up the cookbook, link in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.